Hey, this is Jimmy Beach with an Alien Skin software tutorial. In this video, we're going to cover a few things to consider when you're making custom presets in Exposure. The advice in this video is for creating a preset from scratch. Building a preset from the ground up enables you to address specific conditions to a photo, such as adding sharpening for a certain lens or by adding a little punch to color vibrance. You can also create custom presets by modifying existing ones that Exposure comes with. Often it's better to borrow from the presets already inside of Exposure and save time. The goal of creating a custom preset is to quickly apply a consistent look to multiple images. When presets are made correctly, the effects have a much wider range of use, so they will look great even when they're applied to images with varying lighting conditions. Let's go over some tips for making great presets. Start with a good photo. Presets aren't a one-size-fits-all thing. So if you're designing presets for a specific purpose, use a representative photo with good focus and the correct exposure for your situation. If you're designing a preset for general use, find a candidate image that's sharp, well exposed, and that contains lots of bold colors, bright highlights, and dark shadows. If possible, there will be a lot of color in the image of all types and hues. A portrait could work well, but make sure there is a blue, such as sky, or some green foliage too. You need all the colors and values in the image to verify what your adjustments are doing to the photo. When you're making presets, you may want to save several iterations as you go through the process of creating them. You can always go back and clean up your preset library when you're done. Exposure's virtual copies functionality enables you to easily compare and experiment with several variations of your presets. Then you can choose your favorite as your final choice. Where to begin? When you're making adjustments, start moving controls at the top of the panel and work your way down through them. The order of which control you adjust can affect other controls. For example, exposure can affect saturation. And that's why the Exposure slider is listed above the Saturation slider. If you adjust Saturation first, then later you adjust Exposure, you may need to go back and adjust the Saturation again. Making adjustments and readjustments is part of the process of creating presets, but following a top-down order will help make it quicker. Keep an eye on where you are during the preset making process. It's a good idea to plan ahead and have an idea of where you want the look to end up. Use Exposure side-by-side -side layout to visualize different variations of presets. Or you can use it to view an inspirational photo next to the image you're working on. Stay organized. Be very disciplined about making clear preset names and creating informational categories. There are a lot of presets in Exposure, so you don't want your work to get lost in the shuffle. If you start creating a custom preset by selecting an existing Exposure preset, make sure and document that in the description window when you're saving it. You want to be able to easily find your custom presets later, so give yourself a clear trail of breadcrumbs to follow and learn from. Give any layers contained in your presets informative names too. This is especially helpful for presets containing multiple layers. Things to avoid. Don't make a preset with sliders that oppose each other. An example would be increasing contrast on the basic panel, and then decreasing the contrast in the Tone Curve panel. When saving your preset, omit unnecessary controls. In the Edit Preset dialog, only underlined panel names contain adjustments. If you want the preset to leave a group of settings alone, make sure and uncheck that group. When you're making presets, consider how you're going to use them in your workflow. For example, if you first perform basic adjustments to your images before you apply effects, then you may want to skip using basic panel controls in your presets. Presets are often best when they create a subtle effect. Try to design presets so they are as strong as you might need them, but no stronger. You can easily reduce the effect strength with overall intensity or by adjusting layer opacity. That concludes this tutorial. If you're interested in learning more about using exposure for photo editing, check out our editing videos playlist. If you haven't used the latest version of Exposure, head over to the website for a free trial. Thanks for watching.